Government is determined to tackle high population density in housing areas across Barbados. And new Minister of Housing Dwight Sutherland has been outlining exactly how it will be done. During a tour of several districts, including the St. Matthias housing area, he identifies low-income housing projects as the solution. One of the biggest needs in this country is a need for housing. And I can't get vexed with a family if they have started with a family of three and over the years this is their only dwelling place and they, they were being fruitful and they multiplied. And we have some six and seven persons living in some of the housing units. I am not going to say that that is, is too much. What I'm going to say is that government has a plan to address the population density within the housing area units by building, by building lower income housing. And, you know, these are some of the areas that we'll be targeting some of the housing units and see how many persons are in them and offer them the opportunity, some of those tenants to own their own homes. The new housing solutions will also be given to families displaced by Hurricane Elsa and the freak storm. 18 housing units are expected to be erected in Haggett Hall over the next three months, while 40 acres of land in Lower Burnie is earmarked for a major housing project. Minister Sutherland says these projects will give more Barbadians an opportunity to own a piece of the rock. From all economic division, low income, medium income, high income, and this project of building some 10,000 houses cannot be done only by the public sector, by government, by the Ministry of Housing, Lands and Maintenance. This has to be a joint effort with the private sector, where persons, with investors coming in and getting the necessary approvals and working with the Ministry of Housing and Lands and Maintenance, Tongue and Country Planning and building out the housing stock. The Housing Ministry has also set a goal of 10,000 housing solutions within the next five years. The Minister acknowledges it is an ambitious target, but believes it's achievable through public-private sector collaboration. So even though the target of 10,000 houses is, for some, is a stretch target, uh, but it is achievable if we work as a government with the private sector, we believe that we can, we can achieve our tasks in this term. Aliyah Briggs, CBC News.